something, but you can't ever judge a book by its cover because mm -hmm. internally I've got some major stuff going on and it definitely have pain going on internally. Mm. And people with cancer, sometimes you wouldn't even think that what's going on inside and it's like, oh my God. So, so we're gonna do the clock. That's that's not so a five-minute timer. That's a five-minute timer. It believe it. Oh my yeah. Gosh. So uh, my name's Ty. Ty. Hi, I'm Heather. Hi, Heather. It's nice to meet you. I have a hobby where I talk about anything anyone wants to talk about for five minutes. I okay. think it's important to show anyone can talk to each other. Yep. Is there anything that you really are motivated by, or like something that you really want to talk about, or strongly believe, or like a movie that you just saw, or something like that? Um, I actually, I'm kind of motivated right now about my health. Oh, okay. Because uh, just getting it in check because I've um, got health issues. Okay. So um, I've got also I am motivated by getting my little girl who's uh, who's mouthy, getting her in check. So, But my health is an issue, so I'm trying to get that in check. So I have ulcerative colitis. What does that mean? Um, it's where your colon, it's autoimmune disease, and your colon can flare up at any time. And... So getting that under control is a big uh, motivator for me. Okay, okay. How do you go about doing that? Is it like um, walking or like a medicine mm, that you take? It's medicine. It's stress management. Stress management? Mm -hmm. I can learn some stuff from that. How do you manage your stress? Um, by not, not getting, letting things get me stressed out. If anyone could do that, mm -hmm. that would be like the best yeah. book slash yeah. music tape slash whatever. Yep. How do you, what's kind of tips to like keep your stress in check? Um, well, finding it struggling, especially with children that a child that sometimes doesn't want to listen. <laughs> I can uh, imagine. Um, especially a child that just knocked my coffee over. Oh, you're fine. And uh, didn't want to help pick it up. But um, so managing stress is one, and trying to come out here today, yeah. um, which we haven't done in a long time. Mm. Um, and going on a walk is uh, something we are trying to do and start. Nice. Um, so, um, also, I do, I'm a veteran. Oh, um, thank uh, you for your service. My yes, whole family's military. No, oh, is it? Whole okay. family's military, okay. yeah. Okay, even yourself? Not myself, no, but I work for the government. Oh, you do? What yeah. do you do? I'm a scientist. I'm breaking down the chemical weapons in Richmond. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Wow. Wow. But, um, yeah, so I'm medically retired because of having ulcerative colitis. Okay, so, okay. So um, it actually um, made me have to get out of the military. I was in the Navy, so um, it's something that's, you know, can, it doesn't go into remission for me. So mm -hmm. I have to get medical infusions or uh, infusions at the VA here at, um, at Cooper. So, um, and then I get therapy as well. So, okay. but. You know, trying to stay healthy is an issue, and so um, also my mom has the health issues as well. So we are wanting to try to start walking, and um, bless you. And so um, you know, that's something we're trying to do, and uh, you know, that's trying to get stress under control is a big thing. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why are you going through any of this trouble? Why is it important for you to stay healthy? Uh, because if I don't, mm. uh, my stress will go up really high mm -hmm. and this can get more out control my ulcerative colitis. It can flare up really bad and if it does, some, it could be to a point where um, ulcerative colitis can lead to, if you don't get it under control, it can lead to um, a serious flare or in as you get older you can uh, it can actually um, lead to cancer if you don't have it ah, I see I see it can be so, life threatening yes yes okay so not only is it really painful but it could oh, yeah. shorten the it's amount painful. of time that you have with like yeah. your family and stuff like oh, that oh yeah so wow, wow, wow. and also too um, you know my mom she just had surgery not too long ago and I had to help her with that so I felt responsibility to help not only my little daughter and but my mom as well but it's if I don't take care of myself, I can't help out anybody, so. You know what's interesting is, um, like I show some of these videos to a lot of different people, and when you look at a person, mm -hmm. you can't necessarily judge like what they would say. Like right. you can look at someone and say, they don't look sick. Yeah, yep. But they could be yeah. really, really managing a medical situation. Oh, yeah. What do you think would be good as like an advice to people who like look at someone and uh -oh. like make an assessment based on their Yeah, views? it's, you know, especially people too, you don't know what's going on inside internally. Mm -hmm. um, I try every day now to just at least try and get up and 
you know, get ready. You have to really for my daughter mm -hmm. for, because she's got a long life to leave. Yeah, she appreciates the investment yeah. you're making for and sure. And especially, you know, I still have a long life to leave too. It's like I've got to do something, but you can't ever judge a book by its cover because mm -hmm. internally I've got some major stuff going on and it definitely have pain going on internally mm. and people with cancer sometimes you wouldn't even think that what's going on inside and it's like oh my god you know but you know the internal pain I've got going on it's a struggle every day to get up sometimes mm. and uh, you you know I've had a lot of people say well you look okay it's like you have no idea <laughs> what I you know go through every day to get up because physically I there are days it's almost every day I, I don't feel like getting up and get out of bed but um and you know it's kind of hard just even being here but um yeah you can never judge somebody just by looking at them so do you think of people and sorry we're almost yeah. out of time i guess it would be the last question do you think of people took more time to understand people on an empathetic level and weren't judging based on their appearance yeah. there would be less stress which would be even better for your situation Oh or yeah. Is that a fair? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. You can't ever just look at somebody and say, "Oh, you know, she looks good. Her hair's dyed." <laughs> her I actually her looks dyed good. My what are you hair. talking about? <laughs> yeah. It's say, you know, if somebody Your hair looks good too. Oh, yeah. it's kind of white. Oh, yeah. I just shaved it today. That's right. Oh, that's but, right. <laughs> yeah. What up with that? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, the reason I get my hair done is because if I didn't, it, I would feel like if you, the way you know you look sometimes it's like it really does motivate you to feel better so if you do your makeup you do some of those things exactly. it actually does Five help minutes. you mo you know feel better so Good. if you put on some makeup, in the right mindset yeah it does psychologically make you feel better so if you sometimes if you fake it till you make it that's kind of mind over matter stuff. Kind of, yeah it kind of puts you in the right mindset yeah, I'm totally fine it does that. so you kind of have to do that and stuff. you got to treat yourself too yeah you yeah. if you don't because if you feel you know it's you know if you don't get some of those things done it's it really does it can help you so, I think so yeah. yeah it can really help you if you do some of those things but I have heard several times like you said and I know our time's up but no you don't look like you don't feel you good start. you look like you yeah. feel great and I'm like it infuriates me when I hear that sometimes because I'm like uh, you have no idea <laughs> that could be yeah. even more exacerbating like comments yeah. like that yeah. that make that is its own cycle of yeah. stuff I'm what stressed. you what yeah. we need is more people just willing to be like, hey, I yeah. don't know what your situation is. I'm willing to right. ask questions. Right. And but, like, yep. I don't know until yeah. I figure it out. Yes, But exactly. you were just saying you were a scientist, right? Yeah. So um, you got your degree in biology? Uh, biochemistry. How'd you, oh, know, wow. how'd you even go for biology? That's pretty good. Well, because I've got a couple degrees we in both. biology. Oh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> and I have my well, degree in biology, too. Would you want to do a quick chat with me? Uh, <laughs> it's up to you, Mom. It's up to you. Okay. Yeah. Do I have to talk myself and tell myself? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Do you ask questions? Or? I ask questions. You, I ask okay. questions. Do you yeah. want to do it now or do you want to wait till we come back? You can uh, do it either now. Either way is fine. Let's do it now. Okay. You want us to give you some privacy? No. <laughs> oh. That was a great chat, Heather. I really oh, appreciate yes. it. Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Tell me your name. My name's Ty. Ty. And I yes. think people will really enjoy that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate for sure. it. I like that name. Yeah. Does Ty suit you? Thanks. I appreciate yeah. it.